I am Dave McCarty, um, and this is not a technical Dave, fix. This Dave, is, please sorry, speak louder or into sorry. the I, I am Dave McCarty. Uh, speaking as a Hugo administrator, this is not a technical fix to anything. This is a substantial way to change how we count in a category in a way that matches how we count in no other category. I believe that this idea is very ill-considered, um, so I am moving to postpone indefinitely. Right. Anyone wish to speak against postponing indefinitely? Andrew. I remain Andrew Adams. I think this is a contentious issue. I think there is an issue to be addressed. And therefore, while I am likely to vote against the motion, I believe we should have a debate on it. Thank you. Anyone in favour of the postpone indefinitely? Kate, are you in favour of postponing indefinitely? I am. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep these things in order. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate Secor. We have a whole committee that can absolutely spend a year talking about how we count comics. I think this particular proposal, honestly, as a Hugo nominator, I find it kind of offensive. I nominate what I nominate. I don't want the administrators moving it around to have me nominating something else. I think if we want to change how that's done, that's fine. We can do it through the Hugo committee. But this particular proposal is not a good choice. Thank you. Speech against postponement indefinitely. Anyone wish? Yes, back. David Bratman. As a former Hugo administrator, I can say that all kinds of uh, issues of ambiguities and nominations come up all the time. The reason for this amendment was that there's particular problems in this category that was felt that some guidance to the administrators in the form of the Constitution might be a useful idea. Uh, we leave things open and ambiguous in some other respects, and sometimes we don't want to know how the sausage is being made. But I think in this case, it should at least be clarified that people would understand understand what it is that's going to happen when they nominate something that in a form uh, or a limitation that is not nominated by other people. Thank you. Speech for postponement indefinitely. Oh, so ben? Speaking against. Uh, yeah, that was against postponing indefinitely. Ben Yallo, still. I believe that, in fact, the guidance that this gives to Hugo administrators is not the way I believe things should, in fact, be counted. And therefore, I do not want to see us adopt something that I believe breaks the understanding between nominators and Hugo administrators. Thank you. Speech against postponement indefinitely. In the middle there, John. <laughs> Sorry, I don't necessarily recognize people because they're all backlit to me. <laughs> John Lawrence, former Hugo administrator. Uh, the rules for graphic story when they were adopted were very nebulous. This, and it's been, been difficult for both Hugo administrators and for voters from the ballots I've seen over the years to really understand what is being nominated. This gives some clarification to it, so I think it should be considered. Thank you. Anybody else wish to speak to the motion to postpone indefinitely? Terry. My name is Terry Neal and I'm one of the co-sponsors. Um, I would like the business meeting to consider handling this the way we did the earlier, where we do not postpone it indefinitely, we send it to the business, main business meeting tomorrow and then they can send it to committee because I agree that it needs some work and we would want to clarify things and then let a business meeting at a future Worldcon decide whether or not the a year of working on it worked for everybody. So I would not let, I'd like to not postpone it indefinitely and send it to committee tomorrow. Thank you. Kent. Yes. I'm Kent Bloom and uh, I believe there's already a committee that is considering this this area along with a lot of other things. So whether or not we uh, postpone it indefinitely or wait till tomorrow and refer it back to the committee that already exists, the committee is still going to be considering it. So I think postponing indefinitely saves us a lot of time. Thank you. 
Indeed. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, PRK, Perky, does a postpone indefinitely prohibit the, the Hugo Committee from reviewing it anyway? No. Thank you. It would prohibit the business meeting from considering it the rest of the weekend, but it would not limit the Hugo Study Committee. Anybody else wish to speak at the back there? Young lady, yes, you. <laughs> Don't. Right. Right. Who wishes to speak? Anybody, does anybody still wish to speak to the question on postponement indefinitely? <coughs> right. Two people might wish to speak. Let's consider the question. Who wishes to call the question? Those who do not wish to call the question. Rather fewer. Yep. We will call the question. The motion to postpone indefinitely. Those in favour of postponing indefinitely, please show. Hmm. Motion against postponing indefinitely, please show. It looks right on the uh, boundary to me. So we've. <laughs> right. We get to do the fun of serpentine. Um, those who wish to postpone indefinitely, please stand or otherwise show and count off, starting over there. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin you're Kevin. No. Kevin, just do that section. I right? Nine, four. Those for against postponing indefinitely, please stand and show and count off. We've got one up here. Got two up here. Two. two. <laughs> one. Two. Twenty-six are opposed. Who are twenty-five? The eyes. Yeah, we got. Oh, okay. Paul didn't get counted the oh. first time. People always missing me. Yeah, that is more than two-thirds in favour of postponing indefinitely. So this is postponed indefinitely, and the Hugo Com Study Committee should probably take note. Mm-hmm. Todd. <laughs> Uh, uh, while I'm perfectly willing to have the committee consider it, I believe that our remit is only limited to sections 3.2, and this is in 3.8. Ah. Right, yep, correct. Done. The Hugo Committee was left out of the agenda, and under the rules, they have to be reauthorized, which are not in the Constitution of Standing Rules. Uh, the, uh, they were reauthorized. Yeah. They were? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I was disappointed with how the co-op declined.